Hey, what is going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and welcome to my first Mac related video on the channel. I really hope you enjoyed this one. In today's video, I will show you guys some must have free Mac utilities that every Mac user should have on their Mac in order of course to perform a lot of tasks faster, easier and get more out of their Macs with these awesome utilities which at the same time are free so that makes them even better. So here are the must have free Mac utilities for 2020. Starting off with the first one, this one is called PP Fire and what it does it enables picture in picture on Safari on almost every video. Every video that is played with HTML5 will have the picture in picture feature. So the first thing you want to do after you install it, you go to Safari, you tap right there, tap on preferences and then you will have extensions right here. Make sure you have this checked right here so you have it enabled. Once you make sure you have done that, you go to view, go to customize toolbar and right here make sure that you have the button enabled as well if you don't have it just go ahead and drag it down here and then you will use that button of course to invoke this feature so here we're on the apple website let's go ahead and take a look here at the iphone 11 keynote so if i tap to play the video right there let's just stop that you can see the button at the top i can tap on that button and you can see it will detach the video now i can go ahead and minimize safari right there and i will have the video here on the screen i can of course resize that video and i will have here a few buttons which i can use to control this video of course i can close it right there i can play and pause here and i can also reattach the video back to the website just tap right there and you're good to go the next one for the video is called Memory Diag and this one will diagnose the RAM memory of your Mac. So all you gotta do after you install it, you just tap on that button right there on the menu bar and it will show you everything you need to know regarding the RAM memory of your device. So right here we'll have your free RAM memory as well as the app RAM memory, the compressed one, you will have the weird RAM memory as well as the cached RAM memory and right here at the bottom it will show you like significant memory usage so it shows you right here apps that are using RAM memory the most on your device so if you tap that little i button right there it will also show you like really RAM memory that you have installed on your Mac here and then you have all the different details down there. Now what's cool about this particular utility is that it allows to also free up RAM memory. So you just tap on that button right there at the top left corner and tap recycle memory and just like that this app will free up RAM memory on your device. So I did this like a few minutes ago so now it's you can see right there is freeing up RAM memory. A few minutes ago it freed like 4 gigs, now 1 gig more. And you can see now I have 8 gigs of free RAM memory, of course, using Memory Diag. The next utility for this video is very awesome and very, very useful if you like to take like screenshots or capture the screen of your Mac. It's called Hidden Me. So you can see on the screen of my Mac here, I don't have any icons or files at all. It's just clear. That of course using Hidden Me. So you can see this button right here on the menu bar. If I tap there, I can tap show desktop icons. And these are the icons that I normally have on my desktop. But when I want to record the screen or take a screenshot, I can just tap right there tap hide desktop icons and you can see they're gone a very very useful tool if you like to take like screenshots or just record the screen of your iphone make it look nice and clear just go ahead tap right there and with one click you can show and of course hide the icons and the files everything that you have on the desktop of your mac the next utility for the video is called Hocus Focus and this one is very useful as well. So let me first just show you an example of what it does. You can see right here I have Safari open and now if I open another app it will just bring it up here and Safari will still be opened in the background. With Hocus Focus what you can do is make that disappear, the apps that are in the background disappear like automatically of course they won't be closed or quit they will just be minimized so you can see right here if i open reminders now 
Safari will just go away and I will have a clear screen here. Just the app that I'm actually using will be shown right there. So you can see I open Safari and st it's still there, it's still open, everything is still there open here another app safari is gone now when you go to the menu bar you can see this icon right here this is hocus focus and you will have a list like of the apps that you have currently open and you can go ahead and just tap that little arrow and you can configure them like when you want them to disappear so here for reminders we have 30 seconds for safari i had one second so you could see there how fast it did disappear so if we choose here two seconds Let's just go ahead and save that. Then you can see once I open like Twitter here, you can see in two seconds reminders will be gone. Just like that, it will be removed from the background. That's of course very, very useful and will allow you to have always like a clear screen here on your desktop. The next one for the video is Night Owl and this one is one of my favorites. It allows you to quickly switch between the dark mode and the light mode as well. So of course with the max settings you will have the options here to switch between the light and the dark appearance. Of course you also have automatic so it will do that based on time. But with Night Owl all you gotta do is just right click on the icon right there on the menu bar. As you can see it will turn on the dark mode right click again it will turn on the light mode now if you go ahead and tap on it with like one button of course it will show you the options here to switch between dark mode and light mode but it will also give you the option to actually schedule dark mode and light mode and what's even better it gives you the option to always stay on light on any of the apps that you have on your mac so you will see a list of apps right here if you have like any apps like for example notes or reminders or any apps where you're typing or something you know typing on dark mode is not that good so if you want to choose any of your apps to always be on light mode all you got to do is just go ahead and click on them right here and you're good to go the next one for the video is a very simple but useful one called copy clip now it allows you to basically save whatever you have copied on the clipboard of your device and then you can go ahead and copy that later if you need to so just tap on that little icon right there it will show you here from zero to three you can see i have like four different things here saved so basically text links all that stuff that you copy on your clipboard you can go ahead and have them saved here then all you got to do is just come here and you can see right there at the right side you can see the shortcut so you have command one if i want to copy that youtube link i just tap command one and i have it copied on the clipboard of my device which is really really cool now you can see here a clear button if you want to clear everything that you have saved and if you go to preferences you can choose here how many like clippings you want to save so you can see i have here 80 so it will save 80 basically 80 things that i have copied on the clipboard of my device and you can choose how many you want to display right there and if you go to expectations here we'll have a list where you can like blacklist any of the apps so anything that you like copy from these apps that you choose here won't be saved right there on the copy clip the next one is battery monitor so you will get this icon right there on the menu bar which allows us to quickly take a look at the battery percentage of your device so you will have the current charge and the battery capacity right there as well so you will have here the sources you will have the health you have the cycles and the remaining right there as well if you tap the i button it will show you right here the battery specification so you will have the remaining capacity the full capacity and the design capacity as well it will also show you like the power usage the battery temperature right there and also the power source and also the battery condition as well very very useful you will get like a ton of different things ton of different informations regarding the battery of your mac and you always know like how it's doing and all that so if you go right here on the menu you will see like you have a few different themes that you can choose also you have the menu bar you can show the percentage right there on the menu bar or you can even go ahead and show like the battery time so how much hours you have left on the battery until you have to recharge your mac the next one is one of my favorites and it's unsplash so you will get 
this unsplash icon right there on the menu bar if you tap on it it will show you here unsplash wallpapers for your mac so you can just tap right there to refresh and go through different wallpapers which you can download or you can just set them as a wallpaper directly from here you can see some really really beautiful wallpapers that you can get for your mac and it will also have the history right there so if you tap there it will show you a history of all the wallpapers that you basically have looked right here on your mac and you can still of course go ahead and set any one of them as a wallpaper on your mac now if you tap on the settings right there you can go to preferences and from here you can choose to launch unsplash on system startup also you can choose to update all screens and desktops daily so it will also daily or weekly whatever you choose update with new wallpapers the next one for the video is called brightness slider and this one allows you to easily adjust the brightness of your mac directly from the menu bar so you just tap right there on the little icon and you can go ahead and just basically turn up or down the brightness of your device and what's cool about it is that it also allows you to set a keyboard shortcut which you can use to turn up or down the brightness so just tap on settings and you will have brightness up and brightness down you just tap right there and you type any shortcut that you want and then you can just go ahead and use that shortcut to turn up or down the brightness of your device however you need it of course this will be very very useful if you don't have like a mac with a touch bar from where you can easily adjust the brightness then you can use this utility which of course will make turning up brightness up or down very very easy so that is it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video hopefully you enjoyed all these mac utilities that you can get for free on your mac in 2020 so as i said at the beginning this is my first mac video i hope you guys enjoyed it also don't forget to leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you guys on the next one